this looks great but we want to make it look better so we're going to customize our card and make it even better let's go ahead and compartmentalize our code a little bit because at this point here we are returning our card directly from here from our item builder which is fine but let's break it down into smaller pieces so i'm going to come down still in the same class so here we're going to create a widget type function so i'm going to say movie card and this movie card here will require a movie object okay and i'm going to also pass the build context as such and of course we have to return something in this case a widget now what i'm going to return i'm going to return an inkwell because we will need the tap event to be received so for our child i'm going to pass a container and for the width i'm going to make it a little bit more flexible so i'm going to use the media query as such i'm going to pass the context and i'm going to say size width as such and for the height i am going to give it about 120. let's make sure that we put a semicolon in there the child we're going to pass a card so, so essentially we're going to do the same thing what we had here but with some differences. So our card here, I'm gonna pass a color. Let's give a colors, I'm gonna give black 45, kind of dark. And for the child, I'm gonna give a column. I'm gonna put the main alignment there to say space around. And while I'm here, I'm gonna add the cross axis alignment allows us to align items as inside of our column left to right so cross alignment i'm going to say cross alignment start so everything's going to start from the left and for the children what i'm going to do for now i'm going to just pass a text because we just want to be able to call this and see what's going to happen and in this case because we're passing a movie again get the movie object and get the title just like that now we're going to return this movie card here instead of having what we have here so what i'm going to do let me make sure i have all of this i'm going to comment it all out so you have access to that if you need to and i'm going to return the movie card as such so for the movie obviously we're going to pass the movie list actual object movie object which we can get from passing in the index as such okay let's save this and the moment you do that, you can see now we have a quite different user interface. Okay, so we have a card that we created ourselves. It's a little bit better than what we had before. Okay, and we're getting the names of all of our movies. Very good. Let's go back to our movie card here and let's add this column here. Give it a little bit of padding around. And this padding, we're actually going to direct it with only, meaning we can set up if we want left, right, or top, I'm going to say top. For top, we just want about, let's say, 8.0. And bottom, we want, let's see, about 8 as well. And left, we want more here, meaning anything inside of our column, we want to move all of these titles a little bit to the right. So from left to right, maybe around 54 units. So I'm going to say 54. And you can see now we have added a padding or a margin there. Very good. Let's go ahead and add more information about our movie. So I have our text there and I'm going to add another text. And for this one, I'm going to add a rating. And for the rating, I'm going to pass the movie and get the rating. So I'm going to say rating, IDB rating. And I know that the rating is a number. And so I am going to show that it's out of 10 points like that so let's save this and you will see now we have our rating there now this is not really good what i want to do is that i want to have this rating to the right of i am legend or in this case of the title of the movie now to simplify our lives what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put all inside of a row like this this is going to be children okay make sure everything looks oops looks good so come down here like that all right so we have our children and so because it's a row everything is going to be aligned horizontally so i'm going to get all of that out of there and let's add this rating there now what i need to do also for a row here let's 
deconstruct all of this. I'm going to say the axis alignment I want for our main axis, I want space between so that it gives as much space in between as possible. So if I save this, now you can see avatar and there is our rating to the right there. Making good progress. And after this row, I'm going to create another row actually to add other information that we may want more information. So I'm going to say children, I'm going to add a text. And this text here, I'm going to say released. And we're going to pass our movie object again, say dot and I want released. There we go. That gave us release date. And I'm going to put another text as well. In this, I'm just going to add a movie object and get the runtime. And I'm going to put another text here, which will, I'm going to pass again the movie that rated. And you can see now we have the title of the movie, the rating, and the release date, and all that stuff. Now, all of these fields, I'm able to invoke them because I'm passing the movie, remember, as an object, as a parameter in our movie card. So I'm able to use that. Uh, for when I call here movie card, I can get the movie object because I go and get from our movie list, uh, our movie list list and past index and he knows exactly how to get that. Okay, so now all we have to do here is just call this movie card and life is good and pass in the movie and the context, of course, because that is what we said we would be passing. Okay, much, much simpler. All right, so we have that and what I can do also in this row, I want to make sure that our main axis, I'm going to say main axis, and I want space around. So that will give us enough space around each item that are inside of our row. Starting to look really good. Next, we're going to add our circle with an image here and adjust other things. So we're making really good progress. You also notice that we've lost the click ability of all of this, but it's okay because we know we're inside of our inkwell Right? That's that means we can come down here and say tap like that and I can pass something. In this case, I can just go ahead and say debug print and I can pass movie title. So, so now if we save this and go back, you tap, you're going to see that we are going to get the movie that we tapped. Okay, very simple. So obviously we're going to take the user to the details route, but at least we know we have added it on tap. That's one of the things we're going to be doing next as well as making this better and add that image.